today is well is a red red letter day. But yesterday was the red letter day when my dear handsome grandson and my dear daughter-in-law and son were coming in and staying here for a week so I could look at them and kiss them and hug them before they go back. But like everything else that's going down here, we're having hijacking. And of all places, off they went to Cuba first. But now, thank God, we have them back. And I have the great honor and the pleasure to inter introduce my grandson, Jimmy, who, uh, God willing, next year I will go to see him by mitzvah. And we will look forward to a few words from him because I'll be playing it back and listening to his voice for many, many, many times until he comes down again to put it on tape again. So here's Jimmy. Goodbye for a while. Well, we left the airport at around uh, 9 o'clock and we were flying in a... And, uh, Boeing 727, and see, at around 10 o'clock, uh, the stewardess comes around and says, does anybody know Spanish? And I didn't know what she was doing it, so my father asked, what for? And she goes, we're, well, we're on our way to Cuba. And then I went to the bathroom, and so I, <laughs> and I come back, and my father says, ah, it's probably only a joke. And then um, around 10 minutes later, we hear the pilot, um, the captain, come uh, over the mic, over the loudspeaker. He goes, um, we have a few visitors up here, and they, they want to go to Cuba, so, you know, it's the only way to, you know, it's the only thing we can do is just to take them there. And so we'll be in Havana soon. And then we flew over what looked like the Bahamas, but I thought it was Cuba, and, um, had all this kind of red soil over it, and maintain, well maintained land, and my, uh, my mother still thought it was the Grand Bahamas, but but it was finally we landed in Cuba Airport, and it was uh, and it was easy to land there, but we couldn't take off because the plane wouldn't wouldn't have enough um, runway to go off. We waited around. Uh, three and a half hours in the airport waiting for them to do all these typing and junk. And they served us sandwiches and black. It was really bad. So then at around uh, four o'clock, we boarded these two buses and um, Secret Service boarded a car, you know. And we were driving down um, this highway and, and it was... We passed the presidential palace, and, and we passed all these gardens and arenas, and we we had to, uh, then we stopped at this hotel called the International. It was really junky. We had around three and a half hour ride. It was really junky. It, it had all this poison food it tasted like, and, and uh, the, the water made me sick, and so I had to go out, and then, and then and we had steak. It was pretty good. And then we and then we went back to the airport on the buses, and um, we took off in this DC seven C, and it was tough. You see all these flames coming out of the engine and everything. And and it, um, then when we were coming near Miami, we saw this strip of lights on one coast, and the man says, "Look over on the right wing. That's Miami." And it was a whole lot of lights. We banked and we saw. A, a, Every place where we were, we went, and, and it was so tough. And we finally landed, and we talked to this FBI agent called Kelly, and um, he was really tough. And he asked, he interviewed us and everything. And then we finally got in our convertible, and which we rented, red convertible, white top, and um, and then we uh, and, and it was around. 12.30 then, and then we finally got back, and we went to bed at around 2 o'clock in the morning. And now, it is great pleasure to introduce my brother, Billy Zach. Yay! Hello. As I just said, hello again, because I am 
live here, just like my brother Jimmy in Florida, and we had just cracked open in Florida, not where we are about to, to find out what's in it. We don't know what's in it, of course. We haven't been here long, and we, we have stopped in Cuba, and my brother was talking something about the opposite. He said the food was really bad when we ate it in the airport, but it was really good. Um, so, today we started off the day by getting up, getting dressed, of course, and then we brushed our teeth and combed our hair, went outside for a walk, and then we went to have breakfast at Wolfie's, and then my mother and I and our whole family took a walk in the garden, and we we went to see the swimming pool, and then we went to get our car, and we came to our to pick up one of our grandmothers, and then we came to our other grandmother's house and my wonderful grandpa. And now it is a great honor to represent my mother, Mrs. Elaine Zack. Gracias, ¿cómo está? Gracias, ¿cómo está? It's a pleasure to be back in the USA, and I must say that I have to tell everyone that our family, at least the two boys, Billy and Jimmy, are the first ones to sing our international theme, which goes, So we say so long to Cuba, so long to Cuba, hello to you. The two boys were the most fantastic passengers on that plane, as everyone said. They really be good. <laughs> they really were terrific, and uh, they were a pleasure to be pleasure to be with. The funniest thing on our plane, I don't know if anybody knows that, but Alan Font was with us, and everyone kept telling him about. Uh, okay, I'm quite up. What's wrong now? That's very good. Uh, uh, introduce your uh, last mother. You have to hold it. No, no, you don't. Bring it down. Okay. Okay. Now I'm being coached on this. I have to introduce my. What is that hand yeah. from? Let me see how it is. Glorious. Wonderful. Wonderful. He says, Good luck, guy. Good luck. Uh, the coaching she got for, for the introduction was from my mother-in-law, and, uh, and uh, it was, it's really uh, wonderful to be down here in the warm, sunny Florida after leaving chilly Cuba. The weather over there was about... 82 and about 146 in the airport room where we had to sit for three hours. Uh, the uh, the trip down, as I as I said to Elaine on our way back to Miami, I thought about the hijacking so much and about people asking me about it so much that before I even told anybody about it, I was tired from telling you about it already and. Uh, I think that uh, Jimmy's Jimmy's story, uh, uh, his description of things, of everything that went on, uh, it pretty much describes the outer surface. Yeah. Nobody can tell you how a parent with children feels during those things. That's something that you only can feel yourself. But uh, it, 
uh, looking back upon it and in view of the fact that Jimmy is studying Cuba in school, uh, he should. It, it, it was a good, uh, a good experience for him. And if he doesn't get a good mark in that class, all our trip to Cuba will have been in vain. Uh, the, uh, the only other thing I have to say is we're looking forward to a wonderful, delightful stay down here. We've only been here a short while, but we can already see what uh, both Grammys rave about Florida, how pretty it is and how nice it is. And uh, we'll have to just make it more often, providing they can give us a guarantee. When Eastern says we make it easier to fly, then you gotta finish that sentence and say, straight to Miami. Uh, one other thing I neglected to mention, which was a, an interesting thing that happened at the airport, as we arrived back in my, as we arrived in Miami after being hijacked, there was a lot of FBI agents there waiting to interview all of us, and we were very tired, and they had acknowledged the fact that we were tired. But they said that they had to interview us, and they'd like to get information because they hoped to capture these criminals who had committed a capital offense. And uh, the first thing that the FBI agent in charge said is, are there any servicemen aboard? We'll interview them first. And after that, he said, is Mr. Julia Zack here? Well, I was really flattered and flabbergasted that they should call me, but I figured that they were calling people with families first because after they called me, they took care of uh, the candid camera guy, uh, Alan Funt. And his family and his entourage, he had a maid, a, a porter, a secretary, a million people, and a nurse and the photographers. He's going on, he's doing some kind of nightclub act or something. So then uh, after, uh, uh, after they took us into a room, I said to the agent in charge, uh, that was very nice of you to call us uh, as you're going by families. He said, oh, uh, he said, uh, aren't you the uh, Julius Sack who used to own a hotel in Havana? <laughs> so I said, no. He said, oh, get back to the end of the line. <laughs> and then uh, he continued his interview, and every question he asked, if, even if Elaine and I didn't know the answer, Jimmy did. So he got a full story out of it. And... Uh, uh, that was just a little sideline of the trip, and uh, we're we're take we're going back to our ending of before. We're glad to be here. Hey, wait a minute. Well, um, uh, after the flight, you know, when we were on the ground, um, you see the stewardess said she came around and she goes, "Oh, hello. Would you like coffee, tea, or Cuba?" Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's the sun. Here I am back again, and I'd like to tell you this joke. Well, they're on TV, they're putting this airplane commercial, and here it is. Airplanes don't really get hijacked. Hijackers wouldn't lie. Well, thank God. Well, thank God.